Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. What I have here is a Make Michael Zeba S5 Mini. Now I've done a review before on the S5 Mini. Uh, I'll put the link be below for the S5 Mini that I borrowed from my good friend Brooklyn Tactical Designs. But this S5 Mini, I scored at the New York Custom Knife Show a couple of weeks ago. Now I made the mistake of ac uh, accidentally identifying this as Damascus on the vid if you guys saw it. It's not Damascus. This is some kind of laser engraving, laser etch pattern that Michael puts on the blade to make it look like Damascus. The steel is actually M390. Still a pretty decent steel, pretty solid steel. Uh, but it fooled me. I just thought it was like, uh, for the price I paid, I think I paid $5.95 for it. I said, what? Why is that so cheap? Although I did get a score. You saw my last video. I did get a score on some beautiful uh, <laughs> um, Damascus uh, steel that was i got a good deal on that one i can't tell you guys the price but it was a good deal but this one isn't it looks pretty random the pattern it looks pretty legit but if you look at the other side it's the exact same pattern so some kind of magic that michael zeba is employing in his shop this is a custom so this is handmade by mike uh handle scales are titanium the pocket clip is timascus uh, still pretty good for $5.95. It is an S5 Mini. The backspacer are skulls. Now, the one I did review before, you'll see it's, it's pigs. It's like uh, s and pigs. I prefer the s and pigs, but you know what? Skulls are cool too. And you can see there's always one on the bottom, almost like a glass breaker. Handles are rounded off nicely, very contoured. Uh, fills the hand nicely. Excellent. I'm not sure if the hardware is titanium maybe may well be but nice milled pocket clip on the back of the backspacer mike puts his memento mori which is just a reminder for us to live life to the fullest because you never know when you're gonna croak because eventually we are all gonna die mike wants us to remember that remember death is inevitable uh beautiful design on the blade now this is a collaboration design between um, Michael Zeba and Jason Knight. This is Jason Knight's signature teardrop fuller, which is gorgeous. I love that. Uh, nice harpoon shape on this clip point. Well, I guess this is like, is it a clip point? It's like a harpoon. I guess it's a clip point. Zeba's logo on it. And then Knight Knives logo on the other side to signify the collaboration. But I've always liked this design. I've always wanted one. Uh, my good friend Chris again lent me his to, to fondle for a couple of days. And uh, I, I, you know what? It's just one of those knives that you got to have that I had to have. I, I never forgot about it. And when it was available at Mike's table at New York Custom Knife Show this November, I jumped all over it. This was the most I spent on a knife at the show, by the way. I got a couple of cool fixed blades. Uh, some with really good material and I'm still trying to decide if I want to do a video on those. I probably will. But anyway, I want to show you guys this awesome, awesome S5 Mini from Michael Zeba. Overall length on this bad boy, because it is the Mini, is 7 inches. The blade length is 3 inches. It is a flipper. It is on ceramic bearings. It does have a ceramic detent ball. All right, it does have a steel insert. Everything that you would want from a modern folding knife. This is custom from Mike's shop. Everything that comes out of Mike's shop is custom. Just a really good cool blade. Really quick vid for you guys. I already did this on Instagram. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I just want to film it in 16 by 9 for my YouTube people. Really appreciate you guys. Um, if you're not a follower, please give a follow. Give a like. Leave, leave a comment. I do read all the comments. Unless it's silly. Then I read it and then I delete it. <laughs> Alright guys. Peace.